We respond for calls for assistance every day, EMS, vehicle fires, CO calls, and of course structure fires. When the call comes in for a rescue call and we respond and find a situation that we may be beyond our training and capabilities to handle, what do we do? Who do you call for help? How you doing? My name is Art Bloomer. I'm a captain with the Kearney, New Jersey Fire Department and a rescue specialist with New Jersey Task Force One. The class I'm presenting this year at FDIC International 2018 is entitled Special Operations in Small Departments. The purpose of the class is to give you a better understanding of what you can do and more importantly, what you cannot do when you arrive at a specialized rescue call, such as a building collapse, confined space or a trench or excavation collapse, high angle rescue or even a swift water rescue incident. Very few small departments have specialized rescue response capabilities. There are many things you can do as an initial responder even if you don't have all the proper training or equipment to mitigate the incident. We'll go over the rules and regulations from federal, state, and local levels that outline just what training and equipment is needed. We'll also look at the different types of incidents that I mentioned earlier and see what particular hazards we'll face and what tasks can be accomplished before the arrival of a technical rescue team or a USAR unit. There are a lot of things that we can do from the engine and truck company level and not make ourselves part of the problem. We'll look at, at a few case studies of some incidents and see how some rescuers got in literally, literally over their heads. By the end of the class, everyone should walk away with a better understanding of just what a specialized rescue incident is and how to deal with it from a spell, uh, small department perspective. For those of you that are looking to enhance the specialized rescue capabilities of your department, there is a lot for you in the class also. We'll look at all the steps needed to either form a technical rescue team from the ground up or improve what you already have. Trust me, over the last 30 plus years, I've made all, if not most of the mistakes, and I'll steer you away from them. We will also look at the training and ongoing education requirements along with all the specialized equipment needed to respond and safely mitigate the specialized rescue problems you will uh, encounter. We will also look at the best ways to drill with the members to keep them interested because these types of calls occur very seldom and it's hard to keep their interest. But when they do, you and your members need to be ready to act quickly, efficiently, and most importantly, safely to mitigate the problem. So if you want to learn more about specialized rescue incidents and what you can do, Adam, with your members, your department, on the small department level, this is the class for you. I hope to see you in Indy for the 2018 Fire Department Instructors Conference International. So until then, stay low, stay safe, and keep moving in.